class in uh, this video, <clears throat> we cover rule number five in the basic rules of anti-differentiation in your note packet. And rule number five is in the middle of uh, page 72 of your note packet. And rule number five has to do with the antiderivative of the natural exponential function. You remember that from our basic rules of differentiation, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And the antiderivative of e to the x is similar. The antiderivative of e to the x respect to x is also e to the x, but we have to add the arbitrary constant c, okay? Because c can be any constant, and the constant, derivative of the constant is zero. So the derivative of e to the x plus a constant, derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and derivative of the constant is zero. So the antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x plus the arbitrary constant c. So in example one, we gotta find the antiderivative of three times e to the x with respect to x. Well, three is a multiplicative constant. I can put it out here in front of the integral sign. And I have three times the antiderivative of e to the x with respect to x. And we know the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this is equal to three times e to the x. And then when we're done anti-differentiating, we had arbitrary constant c. So the antiderivative is three times e to the x is three times e to the x plus c. In example two, we can find the antiderivative of e to the x plus one over x to the fifth. So before we can do this anti-differentiation, right, we've got to rewrite one over x to the fifth. Well, one over x to the fifth is the same as x to the uh, minus five power. So e to the x plus one over x to the fifth is the same as e to the x plus x to the minus five power. And now we can find this antiderivative. The antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the antiderivative x to the minus five power Right, we add one to the exponent, we get minus four, and then we divide by minus four. And so the antiderivative x to the minus fifth is minus one fourth times x to the minus fourth power. And then we add the arbitrary constant c. So the antiderivative of e to the x plus one over x to the fifth is e to the x minus one fourth x to the minus fourth plus c. Okay, class, uh, we're continuing with the uh, examples for rule five uh, on, on, at the top of page 73 of your note packet. And so example three for rule five is we gotta find the antiderivative of one over x cubed plus the fourth root of x minus e to the x. And so by the sum and difference rule, right, we can find a antiderivative of this function by anti-differentiating term by term. So one over x cubed is the same as x to the minus three power. And the fourth root of x is the same as x to the one fourth. So we get the, that preliminary out of the way. And now, so we find the antiderivative term by term, right? The antiderivative x to the minus three, add one to the exponent, get negative two, divide by negative two, and we have minus one half times x to the minus two power. The antiderivative x to the one fourth, we add one to the exponent, one fourth plus one is five fourths. And when you divide by five fourths, that's the same as multiplying by four fifths. So the antiderivative of x to the one fourth is four fifths times x to the five fourths. And then we have minus the antiderivative e to the x, which is e to the x. And then we add the arbitrary constant c when we're all done anti-differentiating. So the antiderivative of one over x cubed plus the fourth root of x minus e to the x is this in the rectangle. In example four, on top of page 73, you'll find the antiderivative of five times e to the x minus the square root of x. Well, square root of x has to, has to be rewritten as x to the one half. And after we do that, we can now find the antiderivative of five to e to the x minus x to the one half. Well, the antiderivative of five times e to the x, the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. So the antiderivative of five times e to the x is five times e to the x. 
the antiderivative of x to the one half, you add one to the exponent, one half plus one is three halves, and then you divide by three halves. Well, dividing by three halves is the same as multiplying by two thirds. So the antiderivative of minus x to the one half is, is equal to minus two thirds times x to the plus three halves. And then we add the arbitrary constant c. So the antiderivative of five times e to the x minus the square root of x is equal to this in the rectangle.